Most of Lesotho's 2.2 million people live in rural areas like this one in Tababosio. In the village of Metolong Hamasakale, there's electricity. But despite living alongside the Metolong Dam, they don't have running water. Mamosiwa Silometsi lives here with her five children and ten grandchildren. Their existence is hand to mouth, surviving only on her monthly government pension of $50. No one in her family has a job. Feeding these kids is a constant battle. There are days where I have nothing and we go without eating anything. Sometimes I have to ask my neighbours for help. Sometimes they can help with one meal, other times we go to bed with no food. Government statistics show that almost a quarter of working age people, most of them young, don't have jobs. While the government has implemented reforms to tackle unemployment, progress is slow. Experts say political instability is making matters worse. I have been here for two years and I have seen uh, very interesting developments, worrying developments in terms of instability. As you know, uh, the Prime Minister has uh, announced that he, he intends to retire, not later than uh, July this year. Uh, but also we have seen four government reshuffles in about two and a half years and of course this is, is very destabilizing for the administration. Lesotho has had a series of military coups and political battles over the last decade. Prime Minister Tom Tabani is under pressure to resign. While he says he'll retire within five months, his leadership has created political tensions. Especially as police want to charge him with the 2017 murder of his estranged and second wife, De Polelo. His third wife, Maisia, has already been charged with the crime. Members of the governing All Basutu Convention Party want him gone and are in discussions to name a successor, but the party is divided. Opposition parties are also calling for Tabani to go. The eight-year-old's leadership was again criticized as Parliament prepared to present the latest national budget. The World Bank says that while poverty in Lesotho has fallen over the last 15 years, it's still widespread and affects nearly half the population. Many are concerned that the political instability will only worsen the challenges the government's facing. Many people in Lesotho just want their lives to improve. But with political infighting looking far from over, they may have a long wait. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Maseru, Lesotho.